21 and 22 at Ryan's Family Amusements in Millis. And uh, starting on lane 21 is Justin Waters. He's the home bowler today, but he prefers to go first. The home bowler gets to decide the order of bowling. And on the right is Sean Taylor, and Sean Taylor starts us off. And he's on the head pin with a solid hit, but he leaves a seven and the eight pin. And there's some wood there, but it doesn't look like it'll help. We'll see if he uses it. Justin on the head pin and leaves a 7-10 split. He's got wood around the seven. Let's see where Sean goes. Sean on the spare shot. And he gets it. He makes that wood dance around, picks it up. Nicely done. Nice spare by Taylor. And Justin with a great effort at the 7-10 split, uh, but leaves the 10. So he'll be open at box one. <laughs> I'm trying to make a 10 now. All over it and uh, 10 bucks. So the format today, as always, in the Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour, will be a five string match. Each bowler bowls five boxes in a row and then hands off to their opponent. Taylor on the fill picks up eight. He's got the five seven split, it appears, from this angle. And in the pocket, a little late hit, and uh, Justin drops six. He leaves a check mark on the left, which is the two, four, seven, and five. Taylor picks up just the five pin off of the wood. And Waters picks up the spear off the wall. And a 10 box for Sean Taylor. So after five boxes, they'll switch off for their tump ponies. These guys are not head to head. This is two separate matches. Sean is bowling Chris McClellan, who will come up second on lane 22, and Justin is bowling Jeremy C. Holm. Sean Taylor drops eight, drops nine. I'm sorry, I can't see around the bowlers. Leaves just a head pin on the fill. Waters puts eight in. And Sean Taylor with another mark. Sean Taylor is our reigning 2021 champion of the ACST A division. Justin is a 2022 champ. Justin off to the side. Does not get the spare. So he'll be open in box three. And Justin. Give me five. All right, thank you. So Waters closes out with a 37 in box three. Taylor is as five on his fill. He's a 43 after three. So after the first five boxes by each bowler, we'll switch lanes. So nobody can claim a hot lane or a cold lane. Taylor, is it going to be? There it goes. There's first strike of the match. A little slow motion. Or Waters, I'm sorry, not Taylor. Taylor puts on a great uh, bid at picking up the three and the two together. Um, doesn't get the four pin to go. But now it goes, no problem. So a 10 box for Sean Taylor, 53 after four. Justin Waters is at 47 plus a two ball fill. And Taylor with another split. Mostly splits, four out of five. And Justin Waters, first ball in a strike is a half Worcester plus. Nope, nope, not, not plus a pin. I'm sorry, just a half Worcester. Two so far. Taylor goes right in the middle. And Waters trying to pick up the spare here, and he goes through the hole again. That's not characteristic, so only a two fill on the strike gives him 49 after four. Now he tries to clean up uh, as much as he can of this mess. Sean Taylor closes with a 62 after five. And Justin's in the pocket, picks up enough to make a seven box, so he closes with a 56 by, uh, half. And our other bowlers come up. I'd normally say our home bowlers, but uh, Chris McClellan's home on the right, and Sean uh, Jeremy Seaholm, I'm sorry, is on the left, and he's a visiting bowler. Although bowl, um, all four bowlers actually bowl out of Millis, so this is home for everybody. And Chris McClellan on his first ball. Drops seven, eight. Jeremy's off on the 
four pin. He's left a double row. McClellan misses everything. And Jeremy just off on a two pin. He's moving slowly to the head pin. McClellan with an eight box puts him down 10 early. And Jeremy with a seven box. So I am monitoring this broadcast. We're on Facebook on a Candlepin Bowling Network. And I'll uh, watch for any comments you have. In the meantime, um, Chris McClellan drops five and leaves what we call the Colliery on the left. He's on it and leaves one. The four pin decides not to go. Jeremy's on a triangle and he leaves one. He was on that one too. And Chris McClellan with a nine. So after two boxes, Chris is at 17 to Sean Taylor's 28 in completed boxes. Jeremy picks up the 10, puts him at 17 to Justin Waters' 28 in completed boxes. So while we're doing this match, right to the left, you'll see another match going on. And that's a D division uh, with Patrick Kellogg and, and Will. Um, i trying to remember Will's last name. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll come back to it. And so you see that, and that's being live streamed by John Ahern, also on the, on the uh, ACST site. So Chris McClellan drops nine, his first ball picks up the spare. Jeremy Seaholm is on a spread eagle and moves some stuff around, but left with a three spread wide apart, and that looks like the three, seven, 10. See if you can get a couple here anyway. And he misses everything. So just a seven box after three boxes. Jeremy's at 24. Justin Waters is at 37 in completed boxes. Chris McClellan is at 27 plus this ball. And just four in that one. So that gives him 31. Jeremy, a uh, better hit there, but you know, one and seven are left. McClellan trying to pick up that tough spare, but he gets just a couple. Seaholm. Really, really good effort on the 1-7. Moves the ball over there and a pin off the wall, and it just didn't pick, catch it. So both bowlers open. Jeremy with a 10 box. Chris with an 8 box. So Chris is at 39. Both bowlers are in a deficit right now. Chris at 39 after four. Sean Taylor was at 53 after four, looking for a mark in the fifth. And is it gonna go? Not quite. Jeremy's at 34 after four, drops six in this ball. After four, Justin Waters is at 49, so both bowlers down in double digits. And that'll help McClellan. He picks up a spare in the fifth to bring him closer. Uh, Jeremy misses his bid. He's got three left for a 10 box. And it's an eight box, so 42. So Jeremy's open all five, warming up still a little bit. And at the halfway point in the first game, Sean Taylor on the left is a 62 to Chris McClellan's 49 plus a ball. Justin Waters at 56 to Jeremy Seaholm's 42. A lot of bowling still to go, so let's see what they do in the second half of game one. Talking about some of the best bowlers in the game, Justin Waters, so far in this ACST season, has a 134.6 average. Jeremy Seaholm and his opponents have 126.9, so some really high averages here. Sean Taylor on the left here has a 120.27 average versus Chris McClellan's 108. Almost 109. And uh, Justin's on a spare after a nine drop. Taylor trying to pick up a spare, just misses a wood. It's be open in box six. He's got three to shoot at. And there it goes. That would have taken a spare too. So after six, Waters is at 66 plus this ball. Taylor at 72. And you see Patrick Kellogg bowl a nice 10 box over there on lane 20. All 
right, Justin on the head pin. Takes out six for his fill. Taylor looking for a strike there. Not quite, that five pin stays up, so Justin's at 72 after six. And he's got a two and two split to make. Tough one here. Oh, picks up an amazing shot. That's one for the replays. And a spare for Taylor on the five pin. That was an incredible shot, Bob. If I remember the pins right, I think that was the three, six, four, seven. Not sure. I had to look at the film again. All right, on the fill, uh, Justin Waters at 82 plus a ball. Again, he's on the head pin. Again, he gets a split. Taylor in the left-hand pocket picks up seven, so... Waters has a six fill for 88 after seven, and Taylor has a seven fill for 89 after seven. Again, they're not head-to-head. -head. Well, they put on a good show a couple weeks ago on a head-to-head -head match. Waters trying to kick over the five pin, but misses everything. Taylor just gets the three pin. He's got the seven ten left. So Waters looking to close out with a decent, decent completed box. Gets two. Taylor picks up one. Almost gets a 7-10. So an eight box for Crips. Justin Waters. He's in 96 after eight. A nine box for Sean Taylor. He's in 98 after eight. Okay, coming into box nine on game one. Again on a head pin, again a split for Justin. Taylor in the pocket and also gets a split. Uh, Justin has the 2 4 6 10 split. It's the opposite of what he had before, but he picked that up. Not this time. And Taylor makes a phenomenal spare. The, Two, four, ten. So he's got a mark in the ninth. Puts him at 108 plus a ball. Justin looking to complete the ninth with a nine box. 105 after nine. Wait, All right. Final box in the first game for Justin Waters. He's a 105. Trying to, needs a mark to get up to his average. Needs a double strike, actually. And what happened this time? Drops five. Four horsemen plus this eight pin. Taylor on a fill. Picks up seven. And so that puts him a 115 after nine. And a makeable spare of a one, two, four. Taylor looking to pick up a mark to close it out. And he'll be open in the tent. And Sean Taylor picks up the mark in the tent. He's at 125, so Justin Waters has eight so far. And it's a nine box. So Justin Waters with a 114 in his first string with four marks. So he's not thrilled about that. And Sean Taylor trying to fill his spare and just picks up a five for the 130 game. Looking at the scorer up there, we see a lot of red numbers, which means a lot of splits. Sean had seven splits in his game, and Justin had one, two, uh, four. All right, so Jeremy's got a bit of an opening here, but still a hill to climb. Chris McClellan is on a spare and picks up nine, so that closes out the first half with 58. Puts him within four of Sean Taylor in completed boxes. Jeremy, very good effort on that spare. Almost gets it. Still looking for his first mark. And Chris McClellan puts a mark in the sixth. Okay, and uh, Jeremy's got a nine box or 51. After six, he's down 21 in completed boxes against up against uh, a mark in that box and two more to go, or one more to go. Oh. 
Jeremy's on the two pin. He leaves everything but the four horsemen right. Chris McClellan on a fill. On the head pin, and there's a strike. Ten fill. It doesn't get better than that. 78 after six, and a strike to fill. Jeremy just misses a pocket. Just doesn't touch the, ten, the head pin. So Jeremy open for seven boxes straight. Not characteristic of Jeremy. All right, coming in a box eight. Jeremy's is 60 after seven. He puts it right on a head pin that time and takes everything but the six and the 10. Chris McClellan, first ball of his strike fill and takes out seven. He's got the four, seven, 10. A little wood, I don't know if it'll help or not. Jeremy's going for a split there and there it is. First mark of the match for Jeremy, 70 plus a ball. Clellan trying to put more on this strike. He ends up with an eight fill. That closes the seventh box with 96. So he's seven pins ahead of Sean Taylor so far in the match. And a nine box. So he's at 105 after eight and still at seven ahead in completed boxes since Sean was at 98. But Sean close with, with the 130. So Chris needs to continue to mark. And uh, Jeremy puts eight in his fill. It gives him 78 after eight with the head pin and the six pin left. Nice bid on that. McClellan uh, uh, once again has the four, seven, 10. And almost makes it go. He bounced the ball over to the 10 pin, didn't catch it. Jeremy with a nine box, 86 after at nine. 87 after 9, my apologies. McClellan open. He's tied right now. now he's a 9 box. He got 114. He's not tied. He's down one pin from Sean. Sean put up a spare 5 in the 10th. So McClellan's in a must spare situation. Jeremy's in a must strike. He didn't get the strike. McClellan, good ball. Takes out 8, but his leave is a 7-8. pretty if it goes. Jeremy's open, so Justin Waters will win the first game. And McClellan couldn't pick up the 7-8. Most of us can't. So Sean Taylor will win the first string there. Jeremy closes with a 9-box for 96. And that will not count. That's a 9-box. So Chris McClellan with a 123. So the first two points go to Sean Taylor and to Justin Waters. And again, back on the format, the five games that are played, the bowlers are clearing points toward playoff status at the end of the season. And each game that they win gives them two points. A tie, they split the points. And whoever wins total pinfall for five boxes picks up an additional four. So if you sweep your opponent, you can pick up 14 points here. That's, a, that's what will be awarded today for each bowler. So the first two go to the bowlers that are right up in front of us right now. Taylor and Waters. Sean Taylor starts out game two with a three drop. A half Worcester plus another pin. He picked up the, looks like the, the five pin. Um, and he picks up that spare, difficult spare. Waters is on the one, two, seven. He dropped seven in his first ball. And, uh, and he's open. Did not pick up the spare, just the head pin left. <laughs> and a nine box for Justin. It's been interesting the last few weeks. Um, Sean and Justin and Jeremy have all been in multiple matches. Um, where they've been double headers together, just different mixes. And Chris Parkinson in there as well. He's not here today. 
Um, so uh, we frequently get to see these three bowlers bowling so far um, with um, you know different mix of who's who's bowling who. Um, Sean Taylor puts seven in his fill, so he's 17 after box one. Does not get the four, seven, ten to go. Jer uh, Justin dropped nine. He's left with just the two pin, it looks like, with wood in front of it. I don't know if that covers or not. It looks like it does. And not a problem. So a spare in a second for Justin Waters. A 10 box in a second for Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor's at 27 after two. Justin's at 19 plus his fill ball. Taylor puts eight in the fill, but he's left with a 7-10 split. And I don't think that wood's going to help. Justin on a fill ball. Justin puts seven, another split. Justin's expressed his indignation at that. I don't blame him. And he just caps the wood, nothing goes out for Sean Taylor. Justin's at 26 after two, trying to pick up the 3-6-7 split with no wood. And he's got a great effort on that. He sends the three pin over, but it does not pick up the seven. Taylor's closest with an eight box. Didn't pick up either one of those pins. Justin with a 10 box. So after three boxes, Sean Taylor, who's bowling Chris McClellan, has a 35. And Justin Waters, who's bowling Jeremy Seaholm, has a 36. Taylor drops a bomb. That's a strike, folks. No doubt about that one. Waters in the left-hand pocket. Picks up eight, nine. Is it going to go? It wants to. It's wobbling, but it doesn't fall. So the five pin with the wood in front of it. is now a spare box so after four boxes Sean Taylor's at 45 and he's got two balls to fill the spare Justin Waters at 46 with one ball to fill his spare Taylor picks up four, uh, four on his first ball got a four horseman left plus a five and the eight Waters on a fill Fills with seven, so he closes box four with 53. Taylor in second fill ball. Picks up just two more, so six fill gives him 51 after four. Taylor, or it's Waters trying to make another spare. And there it is. So Waters a spare in the fifth. Taylor a 10 in the fifth. Taylor closes with a 61 half. Waters is a 63 plus a ball. The, among our viewers today is our friend Joe Chambers. Used to ball a lot in Natick. All right, we're waiting on a reset here for Jeremy. The one pin dropped. without a ball going down there. So, Jeremy looking to come back and he's, of all the bowlers I know, he's one that really can. So on a first ball, Chris McClellan, first ball in game two, drops nine, he's got seven left. Jeremy off on a three pin, he's got the one, two, four, eight, six, ten, and McClellan goes wide, misses a single pin spare attempt. Jeremy goes to the other side of the head pin, picks up a couple more, and a nine box for McClellan. Jeremy's looking at the one, six, ten to try to make a ten box, if that's what he's going to do. And he goes for the safety shot, just picks up two, nine box, matching Justin's nine box in the first. Chris was up against a spare, so he's down eight after one box. And McClellan just drops four. He's off on a three pin. Jeremy on a three pin as well. Picks up four. 
McClellan's right on that object pin, but the back two decide not to go. Jeremy's got four horsemen plus the eight in the ten. And way off on that one. He's just on a four pin. Picks up the two. And McClellan with a ten box. 19 after two. Jeremy with a seven box. So he's a 16 after two. He's down 10 and completed. McClellan is down eight and completed. All right. McClellan drops six, four horsemen left. Jeremy, unbelievable. The one and the five only. He's right on the head pin. Found it that time. A little too much head pin. And goes right through the hole again. McClellan missed his spare effort. So he's got an eight box. Jeremy looking to pick up something out of this mess. Picks up a few. He's got a six box. It's not a bad outcome after those first two balls. So Jeremy's at 22 after three. And McClellan gets a late seven drop. Jeremy on the two pin. Gets some decent action, but he's got that three, six, ten, and the eight pin. Jer uh, McClellan, no, that didn't go. The wood deflected the ball away from the seven. Thank you. And Jeremy misses his spare effort too. Jeremy with a 10 box and McClellan with a 10 box. Oh, no, after after nine box. After four, McClellan's at 36. Jeremy's at 32. McClellan is up against a 51 in completed frames. So he needs to mark here to catch up with a bit anyway with uh, Taylor's 61 half. That was a good ball by Jeremy. Um, unfortunately, it only took out seven. So Jeremy's got the triangle. Chris McClellan has the one, eight, three, nine. Not in order, I know. I just call him as I see him. Does not get the spare. Seaholm on the object pin, and it, only the object pin goes. It's very upsetting when that happens. All right, so at the halfway point in game two, with that eight box, Jeremy Seaholm's at 40. Tristan Waters is 63 plus this ball. And Chris McClellan closed with a 45 half to Sean Taylor's 61 half. Neither bowler put up a mark that time. All right, we switch lanes. Come on into the second half of game two with Justin Waters on lane five, lane 21, box six. He's filling the spare left in box five. And he fills it with a nice nine bucks. Amazingly, that pin stayed up, did not go out. Taylor off to the side, just picks up three. He's got the double row, the four horsemen plus three. Waters on a single pin, and he goes wide to the left. Taylor, right where you want to be, and the 10 pin doesn't go. So both bowlers open. Justin with 72 after five, because he put a nine fill on that. So he's got a commanding lead right now. And a nine box for Justin, and a nine box for Sean. So 81 after six for Justin Waters, and 70 after six for Sean Taylor. Okay, coming into box seven. Justin Waters on the right. In the pocket, a little light. Takes out nine, this is, ten doesn't go. Taylor in the left-hand pocket and also leaves the ten pin. Both have wood. Two of the faster bowlers um, that we see bowling here are these guys. 
I see at the pins, Sean threw that at 37 miles an hour. Taylor doesn't register. Taylor has a spare in box seven. And Sean Taylor says, I'll get one too. So both bowlers, Marks in the seventh. We don't have the radar gun out today, so I'm using the lane. Uh, and uh, Justin's ball was at 37 miles an hour just about on that one. So solid balls, don't want to get hit by that. Going for a fill on box eight. Taylor's, or Waters is on the three pin. Taylor's is in that pocket. And Waters only puts four on there, so it's 95 after seven. Taylor puts seven on his, or 87 after seven. Waters has a bit of a mess here. It's kind of a half Worcester permutation. And he picks it up, nicely done. Put it in the pocket. Taylor's on the Four, seven, five, four, five, seven. Uh, very tough spare actually to make a lot of times. And he gets everything but the seven, so he'll be open in box eight. Taylor's on, or Waters is on a spare in box eight. Ten box for Taylor, 97 after eight. Waters is at 105 plus the first ball after eight. Okay, we're coming into a fill box, a first fill ball, a first ball of box nine is a fill for the spare in box eight for, for Justin Waters. He's on the head pin solid and he drops nine. Broke up the split. Taylor drops eight and he's left with a head pin and a two, the one and a two. Waters is shooting at just a seven. So then nine in the fill gives him 114 after eight. And another mark, three in a row for Justin Waters and a mark for Sean Taylor. Really putting the pressure on their opponents here. They're, they're both gonna have to mark multiple times in the second half to catch up here. Very needed. All right, so Sh Justin Waters in the 10th box, first ball's a fill. Wow, that was a solid hit. Eight in the fill, 132. Taylor, nine in his fill. That puts him at 116. And Waters has got just, it looks like the two and a five. I can't quite tell. And he gets them off the wall. Missed the object, but a pin came off the wall. And Taylor misses his mark. So Waters is at 142 plus the ball. Jeremy's going to have to have over 100 in his half to do this. And Taylor with a 10 box closes a 126. So he puts McClellan in a tough spot because he's going to need an 81 half to tie, 82 to win. And Taylor's a 142 plus this ball. Or Waters, I'm sorry. Sometimes I mix up their names. I don't mean to do that. 7, 149 string for Justin Waters. One forty-nine. All right. Seven spares in that one. Seven marks in Waters game. Seven out of ten boxes were spares. There's not any strikes. A couple of nine box drops. And Sean Taylor had one, two, three spares plus a strike. So Jeremy's going to need a big half, and, and so does um, Chris. Huge halves, really. So probably three or four marks to, to have a chance here. And uh, Jeremy starts off with six in his drop. He's got the one, two, seven, ten. Just gets a two on a spare attempt. And uh, McClellan has a half Worcester going for the spare on that. It's makeable. He's going on the inside. Clip just a head pin, but they all didn't go, but the... Five pin went late. It looks like the five pin. No, the two pin. Something went late. And Jeremy has a seven box. And so does Chris McClellan. So Jeremy's a 47 after six. Chris McClellan a 52 after six. Jeremy on the three pin. Punches out. 
Half Worcester minus a couple too. A couple pins. McClellan gets a break. He's on the two pin and everything goes but the head pin. Jeremy, great effort on that. Great attempt. It's just not working for him today. So far. We got three more games after this, so you never know what can happen. And McClellan goes to the left of the head pin, but the wood picks it up, so he's a spare in the second, or in the seventh. Seaholm picks up a nine box. So he's a 56 after seven. At this point, Justin was a 95, and looking at three more marks. In this situation, the best bet is just one box at a time. You may not have a big chance of winning the string, but total is really important, so you, you don't give up. You keep going. And McClellan puts a 9 on his fill, puts him a 71, and he's got a chance here. Well, uh, Seaholm misses a spare effort. McClellan picks up a second mark in a row, bringing him a little bit closer to Sean Taylor. Jeremy with a phenomenal shot. Picks up a 10 box. I believe that was a 210 with no wood. Might have been the four. So Seaholm on a three pin or two pin. Drops six, leaves us the four horsemen. McClellan looking for another mark. He's on a fill. Puts it just out of the pocket. And it's gonna be seven fill. He's at 88. And Jeremy with his first mark of this game. Beautifully done. McClellan on his object pin that is going to be open in box nine. So he's at 88 after eight. All eights there. And McClellan with a nine box. So that puts him in 97. So he needs a double strike nine to tie, a triple strike to win. Seaholm uh, can't win this string, but he can do some damage in terms of total. He puts six on the fill, five on the fill, 81 after nine. McClellan looking for a strike, doesn't get it. Waters will take string two, and it looks like Taylor's going to take the string two too. Just Jeremy, great, great effort on that. Almost picks it up, and McClellan picks up another spare. So Jeremy Seaholm closes with a 91 with that 10 bucks, and he's got a pretty significant deficit in total right now. McClellan puts six, it's going to be seven, six on the fill. So Chris McClellan has a, oh, those are still good. Two more pins, so an eight fill. So those are good, so it's a one a fill. 115 for Chris McClellan. So in points so far, Justin Waters has four, Sean Taylor has four, Jeremy Seaholm and Chris McClellan don't have any yet. In terms of total, Sean Taylor's at 256 after two strings. Chris McClellan's at 238. So that gives Taylor an 18 pin advantage after two. Jeremy Seaholm's at 187. Sean Taylor drops a bomb in the first ball of game three. Justin Waters tries to match it. So in total, in uh, the Waters versus Seaholm match, Justin Waters is at 263 after two. Jeremy Seaholm's at 187. So Jeremy's got a tough hill to climb here. Taylor, nine drop, or Waters, nine drop, sorry. And uh, spare in the first. So both bowlers on a mark in the first. Taylor dropped a big strike. 
And he's got a two ball fill, so here we go. Ball one, box two. Off on a two pin. Four so far. Water's on a fill. Water puts Waters puts seven on his. And Taylor ends up with eight on his strike. So 18 in the first box. Justin Waters is a 17 in his first box. And Waters picks up that 1-2-10 split. Very nicely done. Taylor's open. So after two, Sean Taylor's at 27. Justin Waters is at 27 plus a ball. Again, they're not bowling each other. Their opponents are taking a break right now. And coming up in the second half. Sean Taylor, another bombastic hit. He dropped some big strikes. As anybody who's bold in Natick or Millis knows, because we've all been at the receiving end of those. Waters put seven in his spare. And he's left with the 4 7 10 split. Some wood in there he may play with. See if he can go three in a row. Picks it up off the central wood. So three in a row for Justin Waters. He's at 44 plus the ball in the third. He's really doing some serious damage today. And Jeremy's one of the best bowlers in the game. He's having a tough day so far. Taylor looking for a double, puts eight on the first ball. He's got the two and the four. And Waters punches out. Taylor hits his object pin, but it doesn't go for the spare. Well, lanes here have been pretty hot lately. We've seen in the last couple, uh, two weeks two new records set here at Millis. Taylor is open for the first time. In a match a week ago Friday, Pete Crawford set a new house record on lane 22 and 21 with a 227 game. Amazing game. Sean, or Sean Taylor ends up with a nine box. He's at 55 after four. Justin Waters at 53 after four. Taylor looking for another one. Uh, he's on a three pin. Punches out plus the five and a seven. Waters on his first ball in the fifth. And he puts out seven. Taylor open in the fifth. Waters looking for another mark for four out of five. And somehow he gets the two and the seven to go, but not the four. A little bit of a wrap around there. Taylor closes out with a 64 half. And Waters with a 63 half. So that was a new house record when uh, Pete Crawford put up the 227. The previous house record is held, was held by Jake Cook with a 194. Waters threatened it earlier this season with a 192 game, as did Chris Parkinson. And there's one for the hypothesis that uh, three spares equals two strikes. That, that's interesting because that is true. Yeah, that works out. The other record that was set was uh, the, the house triple, and that was uh, established now by Josh Daly. He put a 474 up for a triple game for three games. All right, first ball, back to the action on game three. Chris McClellan dropped eight, and Jeremy Seaholm had a good solid hit. He's got just one pin to shoot at, and there's a mark for Jeremy to start the game, matching Justin's. Justin in the background encouraging Jeremy. They're all friends here. All the bowlers know each other well, and all are friends with each other. So it's a very encouraging league. McClellan, second box, first ball. Leaves a triangle plus it. Ten, and Jeremy on the fill. Again, a solid head pin hit, but too solid and just takes out three. 
So 13 in the first box. He's got the spread eagle plus the eight pin. McClellan, great effort on his spare attempt. Jeremy trying to drive something over. And uh, great effort, but the two and the three stay up. So both bowlers open in box two. Jeremy with a nine box. McClellan with an eight box. Jeremy's at 22 after two. Jeremy uh, is up against a three mark barrage by Justin Waters. So he's down 12 right now in completed boxes. That was in the pocket, very nicely done. And again, a split for Jeremy's got some wood. Cleland picks up a mark on six pins, four horsemen plus some extras. Jeremy looking to pick up a mark on his split. And tries to drive things over to the right, but it doesn't pick up the 10 pin, so he'll be open. So Jeremy looking for a 10. Okay, Jeremy's get to 10 bucks after three. Chris McClellan's at 27 plus a ball. Jeremy Seaholm's at 32. Their opponents, Justin Waters versus Jeremy, he was at 47 after three. So 15 pin lead, but he's got two open boxes for Jeremy to cut into that. Chris McClellan is at 27 plus this ball versus 46. He puts five in the fill. And that puts him at 32. Jeremy on a head pin again. Head pin is not being helpful to him today. Takes out seven, and that's a four, six, 10 split. McClellan going after the Kaliri, and he gets it. Whoa, what a shot by Jeremy Seaholm. Amazing shot, he picks up that split, went to the right side, moved a pin off the wall to come over and pick up the four. That's what Jeremy can do. He's one of the more amazing bowlers here. In the fill, McClellan breaks up some of the split. And Seaholm with his first strike. That's doing some damage. He has negated Seahar water sleet in the first half here. And McClellan picks up a mark or a 10 box. Oh, spare. I'm sorry, spare in the fifth. Okay, at the halfway point in the match, in this string, Justin Waters is coming up on the right. He's at 63 versus Jeremy Seaholm, 62 plus the two ball fill. Sean Taylor's at 64 versus a 58 in a one ball fill for Chris McClellan. So we've got a barn burner here in this game. Taylor puts up, a, Waters puts up a powerful ball, gets a nine drop. Taylor off on the three pin, drops six, one, two, seven, eight. Taylor, uh, Waters just shooting at this 10 pin. And that's a smart for jo Justin Waters. And Taylor just misses a head pin, is it gonna come back? No, it's a short pin, goes behind. So he's open in box six. For the single pin 10 and he gets it 10 box Sean Taylor's at 74 Justin Waters is 73 plus a ball Justin going for a fill he's off on the three pin only puts four in that mark Taylor the nine drop is it going to be 10 and there it goes a strike the five pin was the last to go, but it's a strike for Sean Taylor, and he's third in his string. Waters going for a little bit of a tough spare, and he sends everything over that he needs to, but it doesn't quite take it out. He's got the six and the 10 left, the open. He's a 77 after six. And with this, if he picks up a 10, which he does, it's an 87 after seven, uh, string and uh, Taylor is at 84 plus a two ball fill. All right, we're coming into box eight on game three. 
Justin Waters on lane 22 here at Ryan's Family Amusement in Millis. And Justin with his first ball in box eight. And he's on the head pin, gets a split. Taylor on his first fill ball on a strike that he had in the seventh. Drops six, he's got the three, six, 10 and an eight pin hanging out over there for a split. Waters is going for the three, six, eight, and he gets it. Nicely done, he picks up some of those splits, makes it look easy, and that's not easy to do. Spare on the eight for Justin Waters, and Taylor goes a little wide, dropped the ball a little early, so he ends up with six on a strike. That puts him in 90 after seven. Now he's still trying to pick up a 10 here. And he gets a nine box, so Sean Taylor's in 99 after eight. Justin Waters at 97 plus a ball. Hey, Dan, that's, yes. that's 15 spares and a strike in the first 28 boxes for Justin. Yeah, Justin's just killing it here. He's, he's incredible. That's why he gets so, such a high average. And there's a strike on spare for Justin Waters. And Taylor trying to match it, but ends up with a spread eagle. They're some of the best bowlers in the game. Justin is at 107 after eight. Taylor trying to pick up the spread eagle. Picks up two out of the six remaining. And he picks up the 10 box with a three and one split. So Taylor's at 109 after nine. This could give Chris McClellan an opportunity. Uh, Jeremy's got a lot of work to do. He's close at the halfway point. Probably going to take a lead, but... Justin, almost a double. Nine in his first ball. Taylor, break. can he break up the split? Not the way he wanted to. So, Taylor has the three and the seven. He's got a piece of wood that's angled at a, probably a bad angle, but it's all he's got to work with here. Waters is taking a look at that 10 pin. He's got some wood on against that and it's angled pretty steeply. He's got to just brush it, it looks like. And he misses entirely, so nine in a strike, and that gives him 126 in completed boxes. Taylor, great effort to pick up that split, and both bowlers open in the tenth box. Justin Waters picks it up that time. That gives him a 135, and Taylor is in the gutter on that one. So it's a nine box. So Taylor ends up with a 118 game. Justin, that was a 398 triple for Justin Waters. 114, 149, 135. And for Sean, a 374 triple. All right, so Jeremy is on a on the right. He's on a um, strike. He's a 62 plus two balls. He's looking to get to 137 to win this string. Chris McClellan's also on a strike. He's a 78 plus a ball, two balls. Jeremy, great ball. Takes out eight in his first fill ball. Gives him the lead in completed boxes so far. And Chris McClellan puts up seven in his first ball. And Jeremy Seaholm with his third mark in a row. Spare, strike, spare. 72 half. Clellan nine on his strike. So he's at 87 for that half. Puts him, gives him a 13 pin lead in completed boxes. And a 10 box. He's a 97 after seven. So after seven, he's got a seven pin lead. And Seaholm has a five pin lead plus this fill in completed boxes. And the fill is a nine. 
Jeremy Seaholm's at 91 after six. Nice. home four marks in a row. McClellan, a little light on that object pin. Just takes the object pin. Yeah, that's correct. All right, so... Chris ends up with an eight box and he's at 105. He's ahead in a string and it's all open boxes from here for him with uh, Taylor. And Jeremy just punches out the two and the eight for a half whistle left. So that puts him at 103 after seven. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm confused by. All right, we gotta do some score corrections here. The guy's caught an error, which... Yeah, I didn't catch it. I'm, I'm they accidentally put a strike up for Chris. That's why I was confused. Oh, okay. So I'm, All right. I'm undoing it on our, our scoreboard. Yeah, I, I didn't call it a strike when I was talking, but... Um, all right, so the score, scoreboard update... I thought I missed it. Okay, score is incorrect. Right now, uh, it was an error on the scoring system here. So it should have been a 65, right? Yeah, yeah 65 half. So McClellan... Okay. a 10, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so that changes our scoring a little bit here with the error in the system. Jeremy's is correct, though, 91 Yeah, Jeremy's is correct. He's got four in a row. All right, McClellan was a 65 at the half, so a one pin lead over Sean Taylor. And right now he's at 90. All right, we'll, we'll get to, we're working on this here. I say we, it's the other the guys that are doing it. Okay. So. Yeah, corrected I, I, score for Chris McClellan is 83 after 7. Sean Taylor's at 90 after 7. Sean Taylor's open the rest of the way through. Chris is looking for an opportunity here. He's got dropped 6 in his first ball. Jeremy trying to pick up something on this half blister. And uh, so his string of marks comes to an end. But he's got a lead here. McClellan misses a mark. Jeremy, nice nine box okay. there. 112 after eight. McClellan with a 10 box puts him in 93 after eight. All right, McClellan needs 25 pins to cut to tie. Jeremy's up against a strike nine. Needs some mark. Get to 136. McClellan in the pocket, but he leaves a five, nine, 10. Jeremy's got the two, four, six. And gets just the six with a wood. So he's gonna have to mark again. McClellan misses his mark. Both bowlers gonna need a mark in the tent, it looks like. And an eight, a 10 box for Jeremy. An eight box for Chris. Jeremy is at 122 after nine, and, and uh, Justin had a 136. That means Jeremy needs to mark. McClellan's a 101 after nine. Chris finished with a, Sean finished with a 118. So Jeremy with a split, he drops eight, he's got the three, 10. McClellan with a split. All right, so Jeremy is in a, both are in a must-make situation here. It's makeable spares. And Jeremy goes wide. Will be open. That'll give the game to Justin again. McClellan cuts it over, but it doesn't carry, and that'll give Sean Taylor his string. 
Picks it up that time for a 10 box. Nice game by Jeremy. And McClellan picks up a 10 box too. So Jeremy has a 132 game, but not enough to catch up with Sean Taylor's or Justin Waters, uh, 136. All right, so points are awarded to Sean Taylor with a 118 to 111 victory. And to Justin Waters with a 136 to 132 victory. Justin had a 399 triple. Justin had a 399 triple. And Jeremy picked it up quite a bit there, but not quite enough to catch up. Puts him at a 319 triple. Okay, we're into game four here while we add up the numbers. And uh, Sean Taylor picks up a mark in, in, uh, off of four horsemen. Justin Waters dropped eight. He's got the three and a five. And they're gone. So mark, matching marks in uh, the first box of game four. Okay, so in the other match, Chris McClellan had a 349 triple. And Sean Taylor to 374. Okay, uh, Taylor puts seven on his spare for 17 first box. Waters on a spare. And that's six. It's going to be more. It's just six in the fill, 16 box. Taylor goes wide to the right and doesn't pick up anything out of that 578 mess. Waters on a four horsemen left. All gone. Okay, and Taylor open with a seven box. 24 after two. Waters is at 26 plus a ball. So in total right now, Justin has an 80 pin advantage over Jeremy Seaholm. Jeremy chipped away a lot at that lead in that last string, but not quite enough. All right, Taylor drops six. Waters puts a strike and a spare. He's really putting a hurt on here. And Taylor looked good, but the five pin stayed up. So Waters has spare, spare, strike. 46 plus two balls, and Taylor's a spare open and uh, spare 710. And that gives him 34 after three. So at the halfway point, Sean, or after three three games, Sean Taylor is at 374 to Chris McClellan's 349. It's a 25 pin advantage. Taylor drops seven. He's got the 137. Plenty of wood. Waters on his first fill on a strike. Seven go. He's got the head pin two five and Taylor kicks that over, does not pick up the seven. And another mark. Ten and a fill gives him fifty-six after three. He's a spare spare strike spare. Taylor closes with a 10 box. 44 after four. Taylor's in the pocket on that one, but he gets, well, he breaks up the split, just the 10 pin left. That's a good break for him. Water's on the fill. And eight go. All right, just eight. He's got a nasty split there. Taylor picks up his mark in the fifth. Waters has the 8-10, and he's got some wood there. I don't know how he's going to use that, but let's see. I think he might be able to send it over. Sends it over, brings something off the wall, but the 10 pin stays up, so his first open box of this game. 74 after 4. And every pin has fallen in his half, so he has an 84 half. Spectacular half. 
Sean Taylor's at 54 plus that ball. Chris has an opening here. It's both Chris and Jeremy are trying to get some points on the board here. And they're against some really tough opponents. Chris McClellan, first ball of game four. He's in a head pen. Drop seven, four, seven, eight. Jeremy Seahold, he's on the two pin. He's got the high low jack. He's got some wood that's a one, seven, 10. He's got some wood that may help him. And McClellan picks up the mark, matching marks to Sean Taylor. Great effort there, but just the head pin went and sent a pin over to the seven, didn't go. And a nine box for Jeremy Seahall. Okay, Chris McClellan's on a fill. In the pocket, drops eight. So 18 after the first box. One pin ahead of Sean Taylor, 17. Jeremy Seaholm, box one, he's punched out again. Half Worcester left. Lallan misses his object, he'll be open. Seaholm's against an 84 half right now. He's in a tough spot. Almost picks up the spare on a half Worcester. Maybe will still. Oh. And a 10 box for McClellan. He's at 28 after two. He's got a four pin lead in completed boxes over Shit Taylor. And Jeremy with a nine box. He's at 18 after two. Justin's at 36 after two. McClellan drops six. Head pin three, six and eight, nine. Seaholm avoids the half Worcester that time. And six go. McClellan, that looked like that should go. He was right where he wanted to be, but one pin stays up. Seaholm's got the head pin and a time on. He picks the ball up. Spare in the third for Jeremy Seaholm. Try to cut into that deficit. <laughs> All right, we're coming into box four, game four. Chris McClellan on the right with ball on the head pin, takes out seven. Jeremy Seaholm on a fill. And it's nine. He's at 37 after three. He's down 19 pins. McClellan tries to kick that over. Seaholm's got a tough one here. He's got the seven only, but he's got some wood that's at a pretty ugly angle. He's got some wood on the right. I don't know what he's going to use. He's going for the left, and he picks it up. That was yeah, tougher than it looked. Eight box for McClellan. 45 after four. He's got a one pin lead in completed boxes over Sean Taylor. Tight one. Jeremy's at 47. Plus the ball. McClellan off the head pin. Drops six, has a four horseman right. Seaholm trying to put up a big fill here. He gets eight in the fill. 55 after four. Spare opportunity. McClellan picks up his spare, matching Sean Taylor's spare in the fifth. There's a one pin game in, on that side. And Seaholm closes with a spare. So he's got a good half going. It's 65 plus a ball. Just, Justin's got 84, but Jeremy's chipping away at that lead. Coming into the second half of game four, Justin's at 84 after five. Everybody else is on a mark. Sean Taylor's at 54 plus a ball. Jo Justin is up against Jeremy, 70, 65 plus a ball. And Sean is against Chris McClellan's 55 plus a ball. 
Okay, come well, Justin Waters. Solid ball and a head pin drop seven on the fill. Sean Taylor picks up seven. Both have splits. Sean Taylor's on the left is a two, four, six. Justin Waters has a six, seven, ten with some wood in front of the six pin. And just gets the wood. Taylor trying to cut that over, just picks up the, the two pin. Both open. And box six, Taylor closes box five with 61. Would you get that ball? And a nine box for Justin Waters for 93 after six, and an eight box for Sean Taylor for 69 after six. And uh, what you're seeing up here is uh, Justin just had a big chip taken out of one of his balls. Sometimes that happens here or anywhere else. Taylor drops seven. Or, or, Taylor drops five. Waters drops seven. Both on splits. Waters tries to move that over. Doesn't go. Taylor in the pocket, but only gets three. Both open. Waters shooting at the 10 pin. Sean Taylor at the 7 10. All right, and, and Waters with a 10 box. Taylor with an 8 box. So at the 7th box, Justin Waters at 103. Sean Taylor at 77. So after a string of four marks, Justin's been open for three. All right, box eight. Justin Waters on the right on lane 22. Sean Taylor's still waiting for the pins to reset. There they go. Justin Waters. Drop seven, he's got the seven, eight, ten. Sean Taylor on the head pin. Oh, Cobra Pro Rubbers. That can be filled. Yeah. Taylor takes out the eight and the 10, and Waters takes out the eight and the 10. I'm sorry, Taylor's still ready to go. And he has almost picked up that split. Waters with another 10 box. Taylor with a 10 box. Justin Waters with 113 after eight. Sean Taylor 87 after eight. Okay, Waters coming into box nine now. He's off on the two pin, picks up six. Sean Taylor drops a bomb, but uh, the five pin doesn't go. Waters is looking at the one, three, seven, eight. It's hard to get all four of those to go. All right, he cuts on the inside of the one, and the seven and eight stay up. Taylor picks up the mark. Okay, Waters with a nine box, 122. After nine, Taylor's at 97 plus a ball. Give an opening to Chris. Trying to close out big here. Justin on box 10, he's a 122 after nine. His last two games are over 130. And that's an eight drop. Just the one two to shoot at. Taylor just puts three on a spare. So he's at 100 after nine.
Waters picks up the mark in the 10th. Taylor, what an effort there, and hits it perfectly, but the nine pin stayed up. He'll be open in box 10. And picks up the 10 for a 110 string. Waters on the fill. He's at 132 plus this ball. And that ball's a nine. That gives him a 141 game. Waters is putting on a clinic here. That means Jeremy's going to need a 76 to tie, 77 to win. 55 to tie and a 56 to win for um, Chris McClellan. Thank you, Bob. So Justin Waters total for four strings is 540. Jeremy's coming up, he's on a fill. Just misses the head pin. And it's going to be six on the fill. Seven maybe. Eight. Eight on the fill. And Chris McClellan is uh, a nine. Make it nine. Can we get ten? I don't think so. All right. So Jeremy gets a break there, and that closes him out with a 74 half. Chris McClellan puts six on his for 61. That ties him with Sean for the halfway point. That's basically a 49 that Chris McClellan needs to tie. There you go. So McClellan does not have to mark the tie, but he really wants a mark to ensure that. And both are behind on total. So Jeremy's put up four marks in a row. McClellan makes a great bid on that 10 box, but he gets a 9 box. He's a 70 after 6. One pin ahead of Sean Taylor at this point in the game. Jeremy's at 84 plus this ball. The ball is a 5. It gives him 89. He's cut into Waters' lead significantly. He's only behind by 4 pins right now in completed boxes. McClellan drops 5. Jeremy, just a little light on that one. Does not get the spare, but his string comes to an end. McClellan gets a few more. He's got the three and a six left. Jeremy just has the eight and a ten, just picks up the eight. Nine box. Puts him at 98. And McClellan also has a nine box that puts him at 79. So 103 to 98 after seven boxes in Waters versus Seaholm. 79 to 77 in favor of part of uh, McClellan in the McClellan Taylor game. All right, McClellan drops eight. 710 split. Seaholm dropped five. He's got something to shoot at here, but he's off the object. He'll be open. He's going to need another mark minimum. Waters put up a 141 string, so. Jeremy with that eight box, he's a 106. He's going to need two marks. And McClellan's open with a nine box. He's at 88. It's a one pin game in that match. Now he's up against a spare three. So to get to 110, McClellan's going to need another mark. All right, Jeremy drops eight. He's got the one nine. It's makeable. Not easy, but makeable. McClellan drops seven. He's got a triangle on the left, a four, seven, eight. Jeremy's carefully considering this. He knows he needs two marks here. And there's one of them. Beautiful spare, the one nine. McClellan needs a mark, and the seven pin sticks around. So he'll be down one or two pins in this box. Gets it. All right, nine box. So McClellan's at 97. He's down three pins in completed boxes. So he needs 13 to tie, 14 to win. Jeremy just needs a big mark here. All right, that's seven in the fill. Brings it closer. He's one pin ahead of Waters in completed boxes. He's at 123 to 122 after nine. 
Waters put up a spare nine in the tent for 141. Jeremy must make the spare. And he goes wide to the left. McClellan has to have this spare too and does not get it. So again, Justin Waters and Sean Taylor will win. That time it goes. So Jeremy gets the um, 10 box for a 133 string. McClellan gets an 8 box for a 105, and that was relatively close. So in game four, Sean Taylor wins 110 to 105, and Justin Waters wins 141 to 133. And for totals, Justin Waters is at 540 after four games. Jeremy Seaholm's at 452. And in the other match, Sean Taylor's ahead 484 to 454. So he's got a 30 pin advantage. And coming into the fifth and final string, Taylor drops six and can't take the five pin out for the spare. Waters dropped five. He's got a three and two split. And that doesn't cut over. So Taylor closes with a 10 box. Thirty-seven mile an hour ball. Justin's throwing at thirty-five. And both have 10 boxes. They're looking to pick up 14 points here. Their opponents are saying no. We don't want you to do that. All right, Taylor drops five on his first ball. And so one, two, five, eight, nine. All right. Waters, seven drop. Taylor on that one, and there goes the mark. A lot of times when we get that, we'll see the pins go around the back pins, but that time he got it. Spare in a second. Waters is shooting at the one, two, seven. Just off the head pin, so he'll be opening a box two. And a 10 box for Justin Waters. Yeah, you definitely want printouts. Definitely get the printout. All right, Taylor on a fill. Six in a fill, so 26 after two. You like this? All right, Waters. Box three, he drops eight. It's going to be nine. It's going to be eight. And a wooded funky angle here. Taylor, I can't believe that didn't go. The seven pin stayed up. Waters, he's got a tough one here. It's only two, but the wood is angled a little sharp here. No problem for Justin Waters. A mark in the third. And Taylor picks up a 10 box in the third. Taylor's at 36. Waters is at 30 plus a ball. Sean Taylor, box four, drops five. He's got the Kaliri on the right. Four horsemen plus the eight pin. Sean Taylor, or Justin Waters on the fill. On the head pin, he broke up the split, fortunately, for him. He puts eight in the fill. He's at 38 after three. Taylor, great effort on the Kaliri, but only puts up three. Waters is shooting at the 6 and the 10. And he just gets a 10. He knew when he released on that one. A lot of times we do. As the ball's coming out of your arm, you're like, oh, I know I'm off. Waters with a 10 box. 48 after 4. 
Taylor with a nine box. He's at 45 after four. Okay, door is open for their opponents to come back and pick up some points. Taylor drops five. He's on a three pin. He's got the one, two, four, eight, ten. Waters, box five. In the left hand pocket, a little fall on the head pin. Leaves him with a only the four pin. Taylor picks up a great spare. <laughs> and uh, interesting, we almost had some interference there. Uh, Patrick Kellogg in lane 20 on the other match. And Waters picks up the mark. He sent a pin flying over into lane 21, but fortunately it didn't interfere with Waters. Otherwise, Waters would have to do the box over. All right, so both bowlers have a spare and a fifth. All right, we're correcting the score for Jeremy because the scoring system gave him a strike before he threw a ball. And uh, so at the halfway point in game five, Justin Waters is at 58 plus a ball. Sean Taylor's at 55 plus a ball. And their opponents, uh, Chris McClellan, throwing his first ball at game five. In the pocket, it appears anyway, he's got the 7-10 split. Seaholm looking to come up. Both ballers looking to gain some points here. Seaholm on a three pin, drops five. Cleland tried to pick up the 7-10 split. Seahall, right where he wanted to be, a little full on the head pin, I think. And McClellan with a nine box to start the string. And Seahall with a nine box. McClellan on his first ball, drops eight. Seaholm, is it going to be a strike? There we go. That's a strike. Jeremy Seaholm, strike in the second. One of the great videos of the old uh, Channel 5 show, I believe it was Channel 5, might have been Nesson, was a Jeremy picking up a, the triple strike pull. Drops a triple strike. In, uh, I believe that was in Woburn, and he jumped so high he almost hit his head on the ceiling. That was something to see. So look that up. Jeremy Seaholm triple strike on one of the TV shows. Chris McClellan takes out five. Jeremy on the first ball in his fill is solid seven. Triangle on the left. McClellan off the object just picks up. Three. Three more. There it goes. Another late fall. Spare on strike. 29 for Jeremy after two and 39 plus a ball. McClellan picks up a 10. He's at 29. All right, Jeremy's really coming back here on this. He had a solid 133 string his last time up. McClellan drops nine. Just the two pin left. Seaholm on a fill. On a head pin, fills spare with a strike. He goes strike, spare, strike. 49 after three. Says Justin, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you have all the points today. McClellan picks up that single pin spare. He's a 39 plus of all. Well, uh, his fill picks up seven. That gives him 46. Seaholm on the first fill on his strike picks up seven. He's got the eight. Is it going nine? It's nine. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, he's got just a seven. He's got to swing that wood around if he can't get by it. 
McClellan with a mark on mark. 56 plus the ball. It's a one pin game again with Taylor versus McClellan. Jeremy looking for a spare here. And doesn't go, the wood didn't work for him. So he gets nine on the strike, so 68 after four, 20 pin lead. But he's opening the fifth. All right, and a 10 box for Jeremy Seaholm for 78 after five. Solid half by Jeremy. Uh, he's got a 10, 20 pin lead over Justin Waters, minus his fill. Sean Taylor's coming up on lane 21, and he's on a fill too. So Waters is at 58 plus a ball. Taylor's at 55 plus a ball. And Justin is coming from behind this time. It's something we don't see very often. Okay, with that fill, Justin's at 603. There you go. He's not even through the through the game. He's over 600. So clearly right for Justin Waters. He's at 63 at the half. Taylor puts four on his spare. That puts him at 59 at the half. Justin misses. He's on the three pin. Taylor's a little full on the head pin. Just picks up a couple there. Picks up one. And Waters looking to close this out. He's kind of ugly. The one, six, ten, eight. And he gets three out of four. Three out of four ain't bad. And Taylor just picks up two more. So Justin's at 72 after six, and Taylor is at 66 after six. Uh, Waters needs to get some marks in here. Jeremy's on a roll right now. All right, box one uh, of, or ball one again, box seven. And both are solid on a head pin, but both getting up with a split. Taylor's got the four, six, 10, or Waters has a four, six, 10, I'm sorry. Taylor has three and one. He's got two, four, seven, and three. Waters goes wide. Taylor picks up the, the two and the seven. The, the four didn't go and nothing touched the three. All right, and a nine box for Justin Waters and a nine box for Sean Taylor. 81 after seven for Justin Waters, 75 after seven for Sean Taylor. Okay, Justin coming into box eight. Again on a head pin, again a split. Taylor also in the pocket, also gets a split. Justin's looking at the two, four, and six. Taylor's looking at the two, four, five, and ten. Waters just picks up the two pin. Taylor just picks up two. Tough splits here. Eight box for Justin Waters. Nine box for Sean Taylor. Justin's at 89 after eight. Sean's at 84 after eight. So a lot of bowlers love bowling out of Millis. The pins are hot here with a lot of action. But the flip side of that is we do see a lot of splits here on the head pins. So um, sometimes we get some late action and you get some spares and strikes that you were surprised by. But you can be right in there and put up an ugly split. Justin gets the lemon drop on the right. If Paul Grant's look watching, then you know to hit up Justin. Sean Taylor dropped eight. He's got the three and the five. He's got some wood in there. This should be pretty makeable. Okay, Waters off on the two pin. Taylor picks up his mark. Needs to do that. Ball's going back and forth. Not 
Waters picks up a nine box out of that, which is not a bad outcome considering. So he's a 98 after nine. Sean Taylor's a 94 plus a ball. Okay, here comes Waters for the 10th box, looking for a mark. Probably be a little over six bucks, six fifty. And a half Worcester left. Just two. Sean Taylor on a fill. Eight and a fill, but the two ten split, or four ten split. Taylor, or Waters, great effort on picking up the spare on the half Worcester. Taylor looking to try to pick up the split and misses everything. Waters with a five box. And a nine box for Sean Taylor. So a 103 for Justin Waters. Not characteristic of what we see. And a 111 for Sean Taylor. It's a 6.43 for Justin, a 5.95 for Yep, I agree with those numbers, Bob. All right, so here we go. Uh, Jeremy and Chris both in good position to pick up at least two points here. It's going to be a tough, tough thing for... Um, Tarot, total. But you don't want to go out blanked. I know my last two matches, I only took two in each of them. So it's better than losing all 14. So Jeremy drops six. He's got a diamond on the right hand. Or no, is it a diamond? It's three plus one. But it's gone. It doesn't matter. It's a spare in the sixth. McClellan shooting at the one, two, ten, one, three, ten. He gets it. McClellan's three marks in a row. He's a 73 plus a ball. Taylor's at 88 plus a ball. Taylor. Seaholm. I'm sorry, guys. I get them all mixed up sometimes. Seaholm with a strike. Strike on spare. So that's his third strike so far. And McClellan with an eight in his. So that closes box six. Seaholm has a 98 to Taylor's 70, or Water's 72. McClellan has 81 to Taylor's 66 in completed boxes. Both in good positions in this string. And another mark for Chris McClellan. Jeremy on his first ball and a fill, drops seven. McClellan drops a nice nine drop. He's got just a seven pin. Seaholm, another mark. So that's McClellan with another mark. McClellan's a one, two, three, four, five marks in a row. Seaholm's a three in a row, but he had an open box. He had three prior to that. It's a six mark in this game. And he's already won this string. And Chris McClellan needs two pins to win this string. So we won't see a sweep on either match. And Chris McClellan has won this string. And he puts seven in his fill. Seaholm puts four in his fill. And why not another one? Another mark for Jeremy Seaholm, putting up a solid string here. Chris McClellan goes open. Allen picks up a nice 10 box, picking up the 1 7. All right, Seaholm in the fill, picks up 5. So 147 after 9. He can't win total, but he's going to make a very solid win on his second, fifth game. Chris McClellan also drops five. They have identical leaves. Four horsemen plus the seven pin. And Seaholm goes open. Let's see if Chris McClellan can pick this up. And both are open in the tent. Let's 
Seaholm picks up a 10 box. He's a 157. 609 for Jeremy. Jeremy a 609. And Chris McClellan a 134. A 588. I have 588. I have 588. I have 588 from McClellan. Uh, 134 on that? Yep. So I was. All right, we go. Bring your microphone over here. Okay, we'll go over the scores. So let me give you the point totals first. Whoops, hang on, hang on. Let me get you the mic here. Both matches are 12 to 2. All right. So I'm giving Bob the uh, score sheet, and uh, I'm going to sign off here and hand it over to Bob Lee. All right, just reviewing all that, uh, I, th I think we got a few marks to catch up on, but the scores, 643 checks out for Justin Waters. We just read those off. Jeremy Seaholm with a 609. That checks out as well. The 157, big game at the end. He ended up with uh, four spares and three strikes in that finale, so got his spares up to 15 and uh, four strikes. So, so 15... 21 spares and three three strikes for uh, Justin. <clears throat> we had an open back half. Sean Taylor with a 111 in the final gets to 595, and with a 134, uh, we're checking on the other scores. 105, 111, one. Yeah, that that 113 was a one. We had, it got changed to a 113, so uh, it was a 586. Chris McClellan, you you took. He took an eight or there was a scoring error in the second game room when you put it out to me. I think just for the official scores. Five eighty. So it was one fifteen. Yeah, that's what I had. So it's one fifteen. So that that's the only scoring error. So note note for the record, everybody. Dan mm -hmm. was right. Bob was wrong. All right. So the scoreboard. Okay. Often, All right. In, but that now becomes official, and with that with that paperwork. Actually, with the five, actually the five marks in a row, I'll get I'll get his his cut up. He had a 16 spare outing with a strike. That is Chris McClellan, and uh, just confirming Sean Taylor with three is at 14 and four strikes. Jeremy Seaholm got up to 19 in that, that great last game. Anyway, was great job. A A Bolin, best best the Mills best Mills has to offer. Next time we see you.